Camp Holiday with Intellectuals DC. We're in Arlington, Virginia at Kettler Iceplex, home of the Washington Capitals, getting set to do an interview with Capitals defenseman Carl Alsner. Stay tuned. Carl, how's it going? I'm pretty good so far. Just finished practice. It was a good run, a little bit of battle drills, which is always nice to see for us. Yeah. So you guys sit about two games over 500 right now. Um, where do you guys see yourself at this point in the season? And um, better than you'd like to be or right where you think you feel you need to be? Well, right now we're lucky. We're still in second place in the division. That's important. Um, but, you know, we, we want more and uh, we expect more. Uh, we know Pittsburgh is going to be uh, you know, a contender for us and it's going to be a battle to try and try and win the division this year. But, um, yeah, we need to do a little bit more. We know we have it. It's, um, you know, figuring out the little details and sometimes we go to sleep out there and, and uh, that needs to be fixed. I think it will be fixed. Winter Olympics are right around the corner and uh, your name is being mentioned quite a bit as a possible selection for Canada. What are your thoughts and what would it mean to you personally to get the phone call? Well, it would be unbelievable. I would be, I would be shocked. So there's my thoughts. I guess it's, uh, it's that would be a, a dream. I've watched so many of those, and and um, it's not even a thing that that I ever thought would be a possibility. Mm -hmm. So the fact that I'm even in the conversation for that is good enough for me. Um, you know, I, I need to do quite a few things in order to make that team, and probably a, f a couple good breaks. But um, you know, I'm happy with uh, with what I've done so far. And um, you know, if I get a chance, then I'll definitely make the best fit, whether I'm playing or whether I'm watching. Uh, I just like to be at the Olympics. Speaking of back home in Canada, is there anybody who, you know is influential growing up, whether it be now or back when you're growing up, getting getting you into hockey that has really made an imprint on your life personally and why you're such a talented hockey player and continue to grow as a player? Um, well, I'd say there'd probably be three main ones. Um, of course, my, my mom and dad, they're the ones that got me started. Um, thought that hockey would be a, a fun outlet for me. Um, and clearly, it's not its not cheap. There's a lot of equipment that we use that we go through and getting on the ice is expensive. So the fact that they um, you know, made a ton of sacrifices to be able to, to let me play and and uh, pay the bills and all that kind of stuff, that was, that was amazing. And you know, of course, I'm thankful for that because I'm here now. Um, another one would be a guy named John Calvano, who's a coach of mine I had from when I was, uh, I don't know, maybe about 10, 11 until uh, 18, 19, 20. I uh, was skated with him a ton, taught me a lot of the skills of the game. He's a hockey genius. He's been um, putting out winning teams for years and years in my area, and, uh, and he really kind of tapped into a few little hidden things that, that he could see that I didn't know I had. And um, I think, I think he, he propelled me through junior and making it to, to professional. If we're sitting here 20 years from now and your hockey career is obviously over at that point, but um, where would you like to see yourself after? Would it be involved with hockey or would it be something else or back home or DC area? Or? You know what, it's so hard to say. Um, right now, I don't think I'd like to, to coach after because I see how much time and, and effort these guys have to put in and I, I always feel like when I'm done I want to be done but clearly there's something about uh, leaving the game that makes you want to come back you know, we have a bunch of uh, ex-players that are still coaching so there, there's something that's going to draw you back I don't know if it'll draw me back but um, that would be something I'd throw around if not that um, you know what just something local maybe coach a team locally a junior team um, something with a little less pressure a little less uh, time commitment or um, I don't know even just work at Home Depot I'd be happy with something like that I just want to be I just want to be a local guy when I'm when I'm done playing whether it's here or whether it's back in Calgary or Vancouver just uh, I have a feeling I'm gonna want to be pretty low-key Carl Alsner from Kettler Iceplex in Arlington thank you Carl all right thanks a lot